Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to add redirect using Redire Hub. First off, log in through your dashboard and navigate to the redirect tab. Over here, click on the new redirect button and enter your source URL. Your source URL is the URL you want to redirect from. So for this tutorial sake, we're going to be using a demo URL and also note you can add multiple sources so you don't have to create a separate redirect when you're trying to create a redirect to the same destination URL. Okay, so to keep things simple, I'll just leave it as one and click on next. In this next step, you're going to have option to select the type of redirect. The three most common ones are 301 redirect, which tells search engines this is a permanent redirect. 302, which tells search engines that this is a temporary redirect and the frame or maxing type. So the frame or maxing type simply allows you to show your source URL on the browser while showing the content of your destination URL. So if a user enters a.com, you're going to get the content of b.com, but it's going to load on a.com. So to demonstrate this, let's go ahead and select frame and add in a URL. So I'm going to add in this URL, which I created just for this tutorial on tiny.host. Once you have this in, you have two different options here. We have path forwarding and query forwarding. What this does is it allows you to forward whatever query is added after the URL. So if someone types in a.com slash one slash two, they will be directed to b.com slash one dot two. Same thing with query. If someone enters this into their browser, this part here is going to be added and forwarded to with the redirect. So that's what these two does. This future UTM builder, this allows you to add tracking big stacks. So if you're running a campaign and you want to add in analytical tags, this is where you would do that. To keep the tutorial simple, I'm going to disable and click on next. Now for the third and final step, we have two different tools, monitor broken URL and plugin and security. This allows you to be notified whenever your destination URL is broken. So in our example, if b.com is broken, you're going to be notified via email. So I'm going to activate this. And for plugin and security, this simply gives you access to a couple of security based features. So if you need any of these, you enable. And once you're done with all this, you click on create. Okay, so at this point, you have created a redirect. Next thing you need to do is add in your DNS stacks. The way you do that is if this is not yet done, you're going to see check DNS. Just click on this button and you're going to get access to where the records that you need to add. Another thing about Redire Hub is it's going to find where your website's domain is hosted. So the current domain I'm using here is hosted on cloud. Flare. So I'm going to go ahead and add in this record. So you're going to add in two different records. You could choose between a C name or an A. In our case, I use a C name. You need to also add domain verification type, which is a text type. So I'm going to copy this TNS value and we'll go over to Cloudflare and I'll click on add record. So depending on where your domain is hosted, you're always going to have a DNS editor. So if you're doing this on GoDaddy or Namecheap, you also get access to something like this. All you have to do is add in a C name, use the add symbol and paste in the value and make sure you turn off proxy, click on save. Once you do this, you will have successfully added this record. So let's go ahead and add the second record. This is a text record. So we'll come over here, click on add record. Make sure our type is text. Make sure name is at symbol and we paste in our value. Once you have that, click on save. And once you've added both of these records, you have to wait for a couple of minutes. Sometimes it might take up to two to four hours. Once that's done, you're going to get this DNS verified. So once you have this DNS verified, this means that your redirect is working. So for us to test this, let's go ahead and type in the URL on our browser and see if our redirect is working. So I'll go over to the to this site here and I'll type in flow 
and we should see this retire loader which means it's working and yeah so as you can see it's loaded the same content that we have here is also loaded here which shows that the redirect works and yeah that's basically how to set up a redirect using Redire Hub.